Um, Prey. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. I think it's very overhyped. I think it's very overrated because I've heard like nothing but praise for this. Okay. And hey, it's okay. It's decent. But I think we fall into the same problem we fall in when it comes to things like wrestling. Um, when it comes to movies, especially, is that because everything we get nowadays is junk, when something comes around that's like mediocre, it becomes like the thing. Like it was great, it was a masterpiece, it was, and it gets put on this pedestal, and it's like, wait a minute, come on. It was passable, but that's it. Um, who, what are we comparing this to? Predators have had awful sequels, in my opinion. You can't touch the Predator, the original one. You can't. So for people to be like comparing it to the original, it's like they're, they're, it's not even in the same realm. And for multiple reasons. Number one, I don't know how long the first movie is off the top of my head. But however long it is, I don't know if it how much difference it is than Prey, right? And in length. The reason I say that is because... And I don't know if it has to do with the way the time we're in. And this is something I've been talking to people a lot about lately. Um, is how much we took for granted years and years ago. Like, for instance, when you were, you know, in high school and listening to, you know, music. And again, I, it all depends on people's ages. I'm talking about like pre-2000s. Okay. I mean, po yeah, pre-2000s. Time was slow. You enjoyed the little things. You weren't addicted to your phone, social media. Work wasn't like, hey, everybody's going to work 24-7. It was like when you punched out, you were done, and you didn't have to worry about it till the next day. And everybody understood because there was no phones to contact you or email you in all hours of the night. And everybody was fine with that. But we live in a world now where everything is just too quick at your fingertips. There's so much going on. You know everybody's business. Everybody's posting social media. Are you afraid... You know, you're going to miss out on something. And again, I get caught in these traps too. You feel like you've got to post to keep yourself out there and relevant. And again, I, I work in fitness. So, you know, fitness is another industry that it's very, I'm not going to say cutthroat, but, you know, you have to put yourself out there if you want to be successful. You know, you have to. And especially now when we do an online coaching and stuff as well, like I have to do stuff like that just to at least, you know, people to know I'm around um, and I think with movies it's the same thing so with Predator like you I felt like you learned about six main characters in that movie that you really got to love and you really connected with and you they built these characters and it was like a group of guys there that you know you really just got behind and you felt like you were knew them so when they died you felt something right I mean, how many names can you say from that movie that you're like, oh, his character was awesome in that, like Jesse Ventura and all this stuff. So, Prey, I feel like it would just, I don't even know what happened. Like, I didn't connect with anybody really. Uh, I think the dog was probably like the one I'm connected with the most. Um, but my biggest problem with Prey was the lead. Now... I know people are excited because it's a strong female lead, which, again, it's fine. I love plenty of movies with strong female leads. Uh, I love Your Next. I love Aliens. Uh, you know, like, I I love those movies. Um, do I think sometimes maybe companies are trying to do this on purpose now instead of just making a movie? They're like, hey, look, it's a female lead. Uh, this, you guys are going to like this. Like, it doesn't have to be that way. Like, I think if things are forced, sometimes it's not always the best. Now, again, if she was good, great. My issue was, is I went into this blind and I knew nothing about what this movie was about. I didn't watch a trailer. I had no idea this was even a prequel. I had no clue, but I heard people say how great it was. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it a try, which if I didn't hear it was great, I wouldn't have even probably watched it. So I watched it. And for the first 10 to 15 minutes, I had no clue what was happening. It was a girl in the woods in a tent talking to a dog with Native American face paint on, throwing hatchets. 
but she's talking like she's a teenager from 2022 and i'm like what what's going on here like where are we what year is this is she dressed up in a costume playing in the woods with her dog like i don't understand what's happening and then she goes and they finds the tribe and all the tribe is there and they're all talking with a little bit of like an accent they're saying certain things that you would think that a tribe would say and you said okay well this takes place in like the 1700s because this is obviously a prequel but why is everybody around her playing a part of the 1700s and she's playing dress up and acting like she's like modern and that threw it off for me. I was like, what is, this is ridiculous. And on top of that, I feel like the CGI looked terrible. Why are we having all these CGI animals? I mean, again, you could have CGI animals. I was just watching something and it looked great. And I'm like, why can't they make that work? Like how much money was put into this movie? Um, I didn't think the animals looked great at all. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I thought they looked bad. I, I think the premise, I like the Native American stuff. Uh, big fan of Bone Tomahawk, and I know that kind of was an influence, I think, on this. But I think this had promise, and I think that it was pretty good. Besides her, I think it was pretty entertaining for me. But to think that this is even close to the original is baffling to me. Um, is it better than two? In my opinion, no. But I can understand people's... Uh, people saying that um i think a lot of people that are coming out and saying that probably have never seen two is it better than all the other predators and predator versus alien sure okay I'll, I'll say well i'll say yeah again i didn't hate it but i just don't think it deserves all the love it's getting um because there's some big problems with it in my opinion um, but yeah, that, I'm glad we're talking about Prey because I, I want to do a full video on it, but it's probably easier for me to just do it here. Um, really just let you know what I thought about it. And again, I don't think people are going to be talking about it in three years, but I think it's the hot new thing right now. Like I think people like the idea of having the female lead. So they're going to try to hype this thing up and promote it. Um, but to me, she wasn't believable at all. Um, in any way or form. I mean, she's afraid of a bear, but she's not afraid of the predator. I mean, there's just a lot to it that it's kind of like head scratching to me that it's getting as much praise as it is. Now, again, like I said, it's not bad. It's actually pretty entertaining, but there are some flaws where I wouldn't put this up against the original at all.